Hello ladies and gentlemen and today we'll be looking at how to create a planet with a simple star field. I'll take you through the process of how we turn a flat texture into a rounded surface and then apply the atmospheric effects and then put in a simple star field. Let's get started. So I went to DeviantArt, I searched something like planet texture and well I found one that I liked. I chose this one by Absolute with a free on the end. Very nice planet texture. Let's close that. Let's get started. Right, so here's the texture open in Photoshop. If you don't know how to open, just go File, Open, and then find your planet texture. Right now, I want you to come over to the Tools palette, right click this, and then click Elliptical Marquee Tool, okay? Now holding Alt and Shift, this is the same for a Mac. I want you to drag from the center, and out until you find the nice size for your planet. By holding Alt and Shift, you keep the proportions of the circle the same. Whereas if we didn't hold Alt and Shift, we get something really weird, weird selection like that. So holding Alt and Shift, drag from the center, and that should do. Right now, I want you to go to Filter, Distort, Spherize. Sph yeah, Spherize. And then set the amount to 100% for the first time and press OK. Now we go back to it, filter, distort, sphere rise, and then 50 this time. So it's 150 in total. Nice. I found that amount works best for the sort of thing we're trying to do. Press Ctrl D, which deselects, or you can go select, deselect. Actually, sorry, press Ctrl Z. We want to keep our selection. So now go to File, New. Um, how big do we want to make this? Let's make it say 1,500 wide by 1,200. Resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Okay. And let's grab the Paint Bucket tool, change the color to black. Okay. And then just click the background. Okay. Go back to the planet. Click the Move tool. Let's drag that over. Just gonna hover and then let go. So now we got the planet on a black layer. Press Control T, or you can go to Edit Free Transform. Click the Lock tool to keep the proportions the same, and I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller. Say, I'm gonna go 81%. Stick it there. I'm just gonna position it a bit off center. Okay. Now we can close this, don't need this anymore. Right now, I need you to hold control and then click the planet layer. This gives us a selection of the planet. And then press the new layer button, paint bucket tool, and then click to fill in black. If you haven't selected black, just click there, drag, okay. Right now, press control D to deselect. Now we're going to move this over. This is going to be the layer for a shadow, okay? Um, let's have something about there. And then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then turn the radius up to whatever you want. I'm going to go about, let's go 80. And I'm going to scale it up a bit by pressing Control T, Lock Proportions, Bring it to about, that's nice. Bring it down a bit, yep, there we go. Now, you can create a new layer. Control click the planet layer, fill in black. Control D to deselect, then change this the blending mode of this layer to screen. This way all the black is eliminated. Now double click this to get into the blending options or layer styles. And now we're going to click Outer Glow. As you can see, we've got this distinct planet Outer Glow. Turn the size up to something like uh, 24 for now. We can change that later if we need to. You can click this color. Let's bring it to a blue. Um, something about, that, that will do which is 6CA8E5. And now let's apply an inner glow. Let's bring the size up loads. Something like 
125. Okay. Change the color. In fact, let's grab the color from the other one. So we go to outer glow. Uh, click, uh, click the color. Control C or right click copy. Go back to here in the glow. Control V. Um, yeah, that will do for now. And now press OK. Now click the new layer button. And then we're going to control click this layer, not the thumbnail, the layer. And then press control E. This merges the layers and gets rid of the layer styles, which could become an annoyance later on. Now change that back to screen. Okay, now you, we've, you see we've got our like inner glow now. I want you to create, um, let's create a layer mask. Go to the paintbrush tool. Make the size nice and big. Bring the opacity up to 100. Make sure you're painting in black. And then just start erasing the bit you don't want. Okay. And I'm going to turn the opacity down to about... Let's go 50, 50, just going to get in there, <laughs> um, let's get a bit more, not too much, just a bit, and this is all personal pref preference. Right now we got that, I'll just show you what the layer mask actually does, because we haven't covered that. If you can. Alt click the layer mask, it shows you which bits you've masked out essentially. So all the black bits are the bits that aren't going to show, whereas all the white bits are the bits that are going to show. So if we just like apply some stuff there, you see glow goes a bit. Sorry, click the layer mask. Glow has gone a bit. Now if we go back to here, you see it's a darker color. Okay, let's undo that with Control Alt Z. Right now, we want to change the texture to be a bit more blue to fit with the glow of the planet. So if we click the texture layer and then go image, adjustments, hue, saturation, or control U. And then we can just adjust this. Um, let's bring up the saturation a bit there. Um, I want something nice and blue, but not too blue. Looking good. Yeah, it's looking nice. 128.32. Press OK. It's looking good. Right. Let's walk on some stars. Let's just zoom out. Um, create a new layer. Fill it black. Then go to filter. Noise. Add noise. And we're going to go about, yep, 15% will do. Uh, Gaussian and monochromatic. OK. Now, let's make that a bit bigger. Don't worry about this shadow, we'll get rid of that in a minute. Um, control T, lock to keep the proportions the same, and let's bring it up to. Uh, I'm gonna go 180. Yeah, that'll do. Right now, the file size is gonna be quite large, as you can see, mine is 29.8 meg. To really bring that down, it's because of this stars layer we've just created. We've just expanded it out to like, I don't know, three times the size. So if we grab the rectangular marquee tool, select everything in the frame, and then right click, layer via cut. And what this does, this gets rid of all the stars that are outside of our image. Let's just delete that layer. And now, it's now 18.2, it's a bit better. <laughs> now we want it looks quite computerized at the moment doesn't it the star field so what we want to do is go image adjustments brightness contrast I'm gonna go maybe minus 100 and 50 okay and let's do that again minus 100 50 okay that's fine right now press con control I this inverts the image and then go to image adjustments levels. We're going to make the stars a lot more brighter or darker since we've inverted it. And this will really bring them out. Uh, there you go. You can see them coming through now. I'm going to go 227 on the blacks. Or oh, maybe 280. Let's go 280. Sorry. Um. <laughs> 
do it again image adjustments levels bring that down um, about 240 there we go and then press control I whoa that's nice and bright now isn't it right let's create a layer mask and then go to filter render clouds gives us our nice dark patches it's still not quite what we want so let's let's add a nice blue tint so click back to the layer and not the layer mask and go image adjustments hue saturation click colorize and now we're going to give it a nice little blue hue just bring that up a bit bring the saturation up not too much uh, that'll do now we want to get rid of this shadow behind don't we it doesn't look very good does it so click the shadow layer I'm gonna name the shadow actually okay so this is the shadow layer and then I want you to control click the planet layer and then while still on the shadow layer press control shift I this inverts our selection so it's not control I it's control shift I and then press backspace this now deletes everything which was behind but still this star filter looks way too crowded so I'm gonna go above the stars layer press new layer then grab a paintbrush make it uh, yeah that will do uh, paste it down I'm just gonna you know randomly mm -hmm. blotch out some of these don't need it being so bright don't worry about it looking awful we're not focusing on the star field and then now I've got that control click the layer beneath and then control E to merge them now we're gonna duplicate the layer right click duplicate layer and then we're going to change that to screen that layer we've just duplicated then we're gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur Let's do something like two Oh, that's nice. Maybe 1.2. Oh, it's turned down to zero. So nice and sharp. But one. Oh, let's leave it as one for the moment. And then bring that layer behind the previous layer. And then change the top layer to screen. Ah, uh, okay. And then let's make that a little bit more blue. Image adjustments, hue saturation. Mm hmm. Okay, and then we will merge all these bottom layers. So shift and then click the bottom one, control E. And then I'm going to make this planet a bit more blue just to fit in with the overall stars. So go to the top, click new layer, and then control click the planet again. So now whenever we want, whenever we, we paint, we're going to be painting inside this selection. So change the layers blending mode to soft light. And let's grab a blue. Um, that will do. So now we've got this nice. Just bring that around. I've got my pasty set to 50%. Um, control D. It's looking good. Um, you know what? I'm going to go all the way. And... So hold, I'm going to crop it, add some vignetting, make it look nice. Make up for the really awful stars, okay? So hold shift, click the planet, and then control E. This, now the planet's all one layer. Let's make this much smaller. Don't worry about those stars out there. That's nice. Grab the rubber tool, make sure paste is set to 100%. Uh, I'm going to turn the hardness up as well and just rub those shadows out um, and now new layer oh, I'm sorry I'm stuck for words let's fill that now in fact let's grab the elliptical marquee tool and let's just try and make this kind of uh, start here and then that will do let me go select transform selection 
because vignetting actually gives like a radial blur. Um, that's nice. Then go to select refine edge. And we're going to feather this loads. Um, not too much. That's nice. And then control shift I and then fill that in black. And we're just going to expand that out. Control T, block proportions. Uh, turn the opacity down to um, let's go 90. And let's do some cropping. And uh, that's it. That's the tutorial done for today. If you want to flatten the image, make the file size even smaller, layer, flatten image, and then you have it. I may do a more detailed tutorial on how to make a decent star field, because this one looks pretty awful. But if you want to go even further, you could go image adjustments, photo filter, and just apply like an overall photo filter. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more.